everyone. My name is Luke Ursell, Vice President of Technology at Biota. Today, I'm excited to provide this walkthrough of Genesis AI, Biota's platform for DNA diagnostics and oil and gas data integration. Here, we will evaluate the total fluid log compared to pilot hole logs for a Permian well. Specifically, we will be assessing the drainage heights indicated by the total fluid logs relative to the pilot hole logs that had indicated the potential presence of a frac barrier. This example is based on an actual Permian well, but the data and results have been de-identified. In this example, we will begin our analysis by selecting the total fluid workflow tab from our home dashboard. We have loaded up our total fluid log workflow dashboard, showing each collected time point. I will select our barrier buster well from the map view. For this well, the operator had tried to increase their fracture half length by tightening their cluster spacing and increasing their pump rates relative to their legacy design. In this view, we have plotted the total fluid logs on a per time point basis. This allows an assessment of the dynamic nature of the well's drainage height. To start, we see sustained contributions from the thicker sand packages around the landing zone, indicating an effective drainage. We also see at the earliest time points, a large drainage height that extends 400 feet above the vertical. These shallower contributions from around 12,000 feet last over the first two to three months of production before tailing off. We compared the total fluid logs to the representative pilot hole logs. We see in the gamma ray log, a thin carbonate section with a challenging frackability index. In practice, the operator expected this section to act as a frack barrier and isolate this region during completion. However, the sustained total fluid log contributions from this area provide a strong indication that the carbonate section was not thick enough to terminate upwards fracture growth with their current completion strategy coupled with the shallower landing zone. Let's do a comparative analysis between the standard SAM well and the barrier buster well. I will select the total fluid log workflow average tab for this analysis. For this comparison, I will select my two wells from my map view. Now that I have selected the multiple wells, I see that the production data and total fluid contribution logs for both wells are plotted. My standard SAM data is plotted in orange while the barrier buster well is plotted in blue. We can see from their time average plots that the barrier buster has this increased probability from this section, while standard SAM does not. This increased drainage height from barrier buster was accompanied by a significant increase in oil rate at IP, and that this increase is sustained over the first three to four months of production. The higher rates and shallower declines of barrier buster was attributed to its accessing of shallower regions believed to be isolated by the carbonate barrier. Taken together, the operator re-evaluated the slightly higher landing zone of barrier buster relative to standard SAM. As the differences can be seen in the 50-foot variation between the horizontal landing zone indicators, and re-evaluated their completion strategy to keep these wells in zone for in-drilling purposes. With this workflow, operators can answer important field development questions, such as, have I optimized my completions with respect to anticipated frac barriers? Have I tapped into localized regions of natural fractures which resulted in a larger than anticipated drainage height? Are my designed fractures and half lengths maximizing my field's EUR, or am I seeing interference between wells or fractures? I hope you have enjoyed this Permian case study of Biota's Genesis AI DNA Diagnostics Platform. Please join us for future videos.